Hi, Ma. How you doing? I just found out, you know, I'm going to be playing with the Utah Jazz. They can call me up. Welcome back, you guys, and let's talk about one of the most unlikely basketball stories, the story of Sundiata Gaines, a D-League player that was called up to the NBA on a 10-day contract and was able to carve out an NBA career after one made three-point shot. As always, if you have not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with the NBA videos I will be dropping throughout the year. And let's try to hit 700 likes on the first day on this. Sundiata Gaines had a near-death experience when he was just four years old in Brooklyn, New York. It was the case of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Sundiata was waiting in front of a store, looking in the window while waiting for his brother to come out. A man with a suitcase walks up to the store right next to Sundiata and drops his suitcase. All of a sudden, he feels himself bleeding out the right side of his neck. Sundiata was shot, and if the bullet went one inch in the other direction, it would have ripped through his jugular vein, which would have killed him. The man who dropped the suitcase was an off-duty New York Police Department detective, and somehow the impact between the sidewalk and the suitcase triggered the gun inside, and it just so happened to hit Sundiata. He used that life-changing moment as motivation later in life. Sundiata says, it reminds me, you got a second chance at life, so you're here for a reason. He played high school basketball in Queens, New York, and averaged 28 points per game in his senior year. He also had some battles against Sebastian Telfair, who would get drafted 13th overall in the 2004 NBA Draft. Sundiata would get some looks from schools, but he decided to play hoops at University of Georgia. After four years at Georgia, Gaines was hoping to sneak into the second round of the NBA draft. He had made the All-SEC team and was All-SEC defense, but he went undrafted. He had offers from teams overseas and decided to play for NGC Cantu in Italy. He had a decent year, he averaged 13 points per game, and his $130,000 salary would have increased in his second year in Italy, but he took a risk and decided to give the NBA another shot. The Idaho Stampede selected him with the 15th pick of the 2009 D-League draft, and his play in the first two months caught the attention of one NBA team. Gaines signed a 10-day contract with the Utah Jazz on January 5th, 2010, after averaging 23 points and 6 assists in his first 14 D-League games. And just a week after his NBA debut and what would be the last game on his first 10-day contract, Sundiata found himself playing a huge role in a nationally televised game against LeBron and the Cavs after Darren Williams re-injured his wrist and had to leave the game. The game was kind of ugly to start and the teams combined for just 28 points in the third quarter but then the fourth quarter came and the Jazz scored 15 straight points and at one point were on a 21-2 run that put them up double digits over Cleveland. Sundiata entered the game in the fourth quarter and made his first jump shot off a pass from Carlos Boozer. Then a minute later, he finds Boozer for a layup that put him on the free throw line to convert the and one. A few possessions later, Sundiata drives by Mo Williams in transition to make a layup and he converted the and one. His teammates were loving it and the crowd really started to get into it. A guy from the D-League is helping Utah go up by double digits against one of the best teams in the NBA. But there was still a lot of time left in the game for the Cavs to make a comeback and the start of a classic LeBron takeover was in the making. Down by 12 with three and a half minutes left, LeBron went into takeover mode and hit three three-pointers and converted two and ones to help Cleveland go on a 18-2 run and give the Cavs a four-point lead with 40 seconds left. LeBron hit two more free throws to put the Cavs up by six with 30 seconds left. He scored 20 points in the fourth quarter and finished the game with 36 points, nine rebounds, six assists, and five steals. The game looked about over but the Cavs helped out Utah by missing free throws in the final 30 seconds. After Anthony Parker went one for two at the line, the next possession for Utah, Kyle Korver hit this crazy shot behind the backboard to bring the score to 95 to 94 with six seconds left. The Cavs inbounded the ball to Zadrunas Ilgauskas and just like Anthony Parker, Ilgauskas went one for two at the line and he put the score at 96 to 94, 
giving the Jazz a shot to win the game with a three-point shot. On the inbounds play, the Jazz tried to give Kyle Korver a look so he could win the game with a three, but the Cavs double teamed him and he had to pass it out to Ronnie Price, who had nowhere to go but give it to Sundiata Gaines. With Anthony Parker all over him, Sundiata let go his three-point shot before time expired and made the shot to give the Jazz the win, 97-96. to Got a three, got a two, got a one, it's Gaines, yes! The Jazz! That shot was Sundiata's first career three-point make. He finished the game with nine points on three of three shooting from the field. Ronnie Price said this after the game about the final play. It got real crowded real quick. They jumped out on our pick and roll, so our next option was to find Yada. I knew it was going. He was on the court for a reason. LeBron kept it real simple to the media after the game. He said, we played them as close as we could. Everybody has to contest, and everybody was in front of a man. He just knocked down a shot. The crazy thing about that moment is that when head coach Jerry Sloan drew up the final play, he only had told four players to go onto the court. Sundiata said to the media that, the thing is, I don't think I was supposed to be in the game, but coach sent me out there. The next day, he signed a second 10-day contract with the Jazz, and once that was up, Sundiata signed with the Jazz for the rest of the season. Sundiata Gaines wasn't known by many NBA fans, but after that game winner against the Cavs, he was known by the NBA world. But his time in Utah was short-lived. The next season, he was waived by the Jazz in training camp, in October 2010, but that game-winning shot helped him get other looks around the league. He played for Minnesota, Toronto, and New Jersey from 2010 to 2012. His last season was with the Nets. He averaged just 5 points on 37% shooting. He also played some hoops in China, Turkey, Venezuela, Italy, and Israel after that. Gaines is 31 years old today, and in 2016, he played for the Salt Lake City Stars, the Jazz's G League team. Sundiata said in an interview last year that he appreciates when people ask him about that shot and beating the Cavs. Sundiata said, the shot really got my career started, and I've taken advantage of the opportunity. And yeah, that's the story of Sundiata Gaines, a rookie in his fifth NBA game that hit a buzzer-beating three-point shot to knock off the Cavs. The story would have been how LeBron led a fourth quarter comeback, but Sundiata stopped that story. Shout out to you if you're still here. I hope the video was interesting to listen to. I'll see you guys in my next video.